In this episode of Movie Curator Shelf Club, I take on the task of putting together a shelf of cinema classics. Hey, it's me, AP, aka Mr. Movie Cheer, and welcome back to another video. So, Movie Curator Shelf Club, a brand new series on the channel. Basically, the concept of this show uh, will be each and every episode, I'll be tackling a shelf and putting to, you know, task, task myself with putting together and curating a certain collection within that shelf. And the, the title for the shelf, the description today is Cinema Classics. Basically, I'm, I'm thinking cinema classics, it could be, you know, cinema classics, movie classics, but basically movies that I think are just like ones in the collection that just stand out. The 10 out of 10 movies, just I think they're just like 10 out of 10 cinema classic films. Uh, some of them comedy, some of them action, it varies on the genre, but I think let's make a shelf here. And what I'm saying with, with movie curator shelf club as well is, there's no rules, apart from there is sometimes some rules. Uh, I think I'm making rules for myself each and every time, and you you know, if you want to be a member of this club, make your own rules, that's how I'd say it. But basically, um, I, I think what I'm saying to myself here, first of all, in making a new shelf, and I'll say why I'm doing this is, you know, first of all, let's, let's just say why I'm doing this is, I've done this before where I put collections together, and after time, they kind of get, it feels old and they feel like they need to be rejuvenated and feel like they need to be updated and they need to be curated a bit more and that's what I'm getting with my collection nowadays I feel like I'm curating the collection more so and getting it down to certain collection collections that I think work best for me and I'm kind of like now even with like some of the superhero movies I'm like you know some movies I don't really need in that collection of like comic book movies for example like in Eternals I don't want that in the collection and I'm trying to like curate them to get the best possible movie uh, collection for myself. And I think I think that's awesome to do that. I think that's the best way to do it as a, as a movie uh, collector or cinema file, whatever you want to call yourself, a movie curator uh, in this instance. But this is why I'm doing this. And so for this one here now with making a new shelf and today it's cinema classics. I've got a small shelf on the side. You can see them here and they fit about maybe what like I'd say about. 10 to 12 movies in the around that mark so you know some videos i'll do more movies sometimes it'll be only a short collection i've decided for this particular shelf of cinema classics to do a, a really like a, a full, fill the shelf up basically and like i said rules on this i'm kind of saying try and stick to movies that are kind of like solo movies that are not part of like big franchises unless there's a certain exception an exception maybe a certain movie in a trilogy is just absolutely 10 times better than the other two movies and it's there in its own ranking. That's going to go in the uh, potentially something like that. Not to say it's going to be in this one. Or for instance, if there's a movie of like a, a, of a series, all the series is great and I feel like they're all cinema classic movies or whatever description of the shelf is going to be. So they're kind of rules and it's just like, like I said, it's just a fun fun thing for me to do as a video and for me it's also a fun thing to do as someone who likes you know having a movie collection and putting together some fun shelves it's kind of an, a nice little hobby to do as a movie collector and movie curator as well so let's get to the shelf and let's take a look at the movies that i'm going to feature in my cinema classics so the first movie i'm going to start off with is forrest gump starring tom hanks just an absolutely spectacular movie, you know, telling the life story of this man. It's a, obviously it's 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 non it's not it's all fiction. It's not it's not a real person, but it's, it feels like a guy. You know, this character it feels like it, it actually could be a real person. It's just, just such a detailed and well told story, uh, directed by Robert Zem Zemeckis as well. It is just a great Tom Hanks movie. I'm a big fan of Tom Hanks, and I think a lot of his movies are cinema classic movies and this one I, I feel like this is the perfect movie to start off the shelf this is going to be you know this is like the headline for me the headline movie of cinema classics i just think i can't think of a better movie to start this collection off and this shelf off with so tom hanks in forrest gump goes on to the shelf The next movie I want to discuss is Ocean's Eleven, well, the remake of Ocean's Eleven, the original movie, uh, starring George Clooney, Matt Damon, Andy Garcia, Julia Roberts, and Brad Pitt. Uh, absolutely phenomenal movie, you know, basically going into this in this movie, 
bunch of criminals going in and robbing a casino, a safe, a big like bulletproof safe that's like un unbreakable, this safe in a casino, and they're going in to rob it. And it is just a great, great movie. Some great acting performances. I, I, I think of heist movies, and I think this is what got me into heist movies. I think it's a phenomenal movie. And it is a cinema classic movie for me. I, I think... I was looking at this and I was like kind of taking a few different movies out of the collection and saying maybe that's not suitable for this cinema classic shelf. But I think this is a movie that is suitable for cinema classics. I, for me, I really enjoy it and I think it's just um, one of these movies. I can't remember watching the cinema specifically, but if I'm watching it at home, I think this is just an incredible movie. 10 out of 10 and really deserving of going on to the shelf. Next up, I want to discuss Argo. Argo, F yourself. <laughs> this is a movie, I'm pretty sure it won like a, I think this won the Oscar, Best Picture. Best picture. Uh, starring, it's a true story basically, and basically a bunch of these Americans go into uh, to Iranian, I think it's in Iran, I think it is, and basically, I think it's like during the 70s or the 80s, and basically all these, 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 like these they work for the government, and they all these Americans in this country, and they, they've got to get him out of this country and they've got to do a special mission the FBI. And Argo is basically, the, it's a story, it's a, it's, a, it's a movie they make up. So they go in and pretend they're a film crew and all these like FBI, FBI agents and they pretend that the people, look up, like the Americans who are in this country are a part of this film and they got to go and rescue them. And it's such a cool movie because you've seen like this fake movie in like the 70s being made and they're around to like do like conventions and everything for this movie. It's a really good movie. As I said, Ben Affleck is the main star of this. It also stars Matt, uh, Brian Cranston as well in this. Ben Affleck directed the movie. I just think this is a super movie. John Goodman's in there as well. Um, it's a movie where, first of all, I think it's a true story, but it's, for a cinema classic for me, I just think the story of going into this country and pretending, it's just a, such a unique story. They've got to pretend they're a film crew and they're making this fake movie, but they've got to, you know, go into this country where they could potentially end up getting killed to, you know, rescue these six people. And then they've got to get these six people to go along with this idea that they're a part of this this crew for this film as well and that they came into the country with them and it's such a a weird story and you wouldn't like it's not something you'd think of like it's just like i think certain films just seem like dead obvious but this is just a a movie just comes out of nowhere and you think that's such a weird plot of a movie but it works really well and obviously it's a true story as well and i just think it's a really well-made movie argo great great movie great great watch and i think deserving of being on the cinema classics shelf Next up, I'm going to discuss Troy, and Troy will be going on the cinema classic shelf because this is an epic battle movie uh, starring Brad Pitt, Eric Banner, and Orlando Bloom. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a true story, but I think they historically they can't say for sure that every event in this movie happened. I think it's kind of like off certain views of historical events, basically, from what I gather. But it's a great battle movie, some great battle scenes in this. I think the character of um you know that the uh, uh brad pitt i'm trying to think of, think of his name now brad pitt's character in this is is amazing uh, he plays achilles and you obviously hear the story of achilles heel and you see where that name comes from in the end of the story but just forgetting that sort of end moment and the end moments of the story there's some great scenes you know epic fight scenes throughout this movie and it's just really grand scale, gladiator scale, Spartacus scale of storytelling. It's just an epic movie. And I'm so happy that it's going to be going on the shelf behind me for the cinema classics. The next movie I'm going to discuss is Rain Man, starring Tom Cruise and Dustin Hoffman. The story of two brothers, two brothers, and uh, basically they didn't know they existed until like they get to adulthood, and then they go on this like road journey together. Uh, these two brothers, and it's such a, a great story. And I think obviously the remarkable thing about this, I think it is a true story, but. Dustin Hoffman, he plays a, a man who has autism and basically, he, you know, really does struggle with communicating and you see him come out of his shell in this story, but Dustin Hoffman's performance in this film is is incredible. He's like this super smart character, uh, play, I think his name's Ray in this story, it's, it's just a great performance um, and 
I, 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 I think it's just an incredible movie. It's kind of like Tom Cruise and Dustin Hoffman, you wouldn't think they would be a great partnership on, on screen, but they make for a great partnership and it's a great story, great acting performances, especially from Dustin Hoffman. But as a supporting character in the story of Tom Cruise, because I feel like Dustin Hoffman is the main guy in this. He just his performance is just 10, 10 points ahead of everyone else. And Tom Cruise just lends to the character really well in a great supporting role throughout this movie, even though they're kind of both like the headline stars at the same time. Great story, a really good, like, brotherly story of this road movie going on the road and discovering, you know, the sort of like a friendship, the brother friendship in a way, you know, and uh, it's really a really good story. I really like this movie and I think it is worthy of going on the cinema classics shelf in this collection. Next, I want to discuss Shawshank Redemption. Uh, this is going on the cinema classic shelf because it is incredible, this movie. A 10 out of 10 movie. Basically, a man gets um, convicted of a crime he didn't commit, uh, a murder, and he goes to prison for it for like a life sentence. And, you know, I, I don't want to spoil it because I feel like some people still have not seen this movie, but basically it's a story of him going doing this thing when he's in within the prison walls and doing something pretty remarkable um you know inside prison and it's a it's a great story and he, he wants to basically the character wants to basically make himself a free man he basically that's that's what i'll say i won't say any more than that but it's a a really really good story great acting performances in this story you've got tim robbins and morgan freeman and it is just a movie I didn't watch maybe till like maybe like my teenage years and I heard about it for years and I, I honestly understand why a lot of people like this movie because it is a, a great story and it is a cinema classic for me. I just think that, you know, just watching this movie, you can just appreciate how good the filmmaking, the story, it's just a great story, great storytelling, great character work of this guy who goes to prison and he's kind of like... He accepts that he's in prison for a, for like a long period, and he, he he goes along with the system, but he's working the system really behind behind the scenes, and he's he's just working and he's working to be a free man, and that's his his goal within the story, and it's a, a great great movie, and uh, I'm glad it's going to be in the cinema classics shelf. Next up, I want to discuss The Great Escape. This had to go in the collection of, of cinema classics. It's one I've watched for years over now. I, I absolutely love this movie. I think it is a really great movie. And it is, you know, it is a cinema classic. I think it's just one that is just great filmmaking, a great story. And there's tons of great characters within this movie. And you see tons of little great bits of character work and great little story arcs of the different characters within this story uh, a bunch of prisoners uh, on the world war ii prisoner camp and basically they've got to try and escape this prison camp prisoner of war camp and it, you just see them tr you know trying different exploits and trying to do this great escape and then some of them do escape some of them don't but it's just a really great all-round story i love watching this i just just something like really you know, I, I watch this and i just think this is great this is just this is what films are about, movies like this, and you, you really, this is for me where I think this is an, you know, anyone can watch this and really appreciate that this is really great cinema, and it is a cinema classic for me. The Great Escape goes on the movie shelf. The next movie to enter the Cinema Classics movie shelf is The Rock, starring Sean Connery, Nicolas Cage, and Ed Harris. Uh, this is an absolutely one of my favorite movies of all time. It's definitely in my top five movies. Uh, basically, Sean Connery, it's kind of like a spiritual successor, really, of, of his character in the Bond series. Like Unofficially, I think it's been talked about for years that he his character in this is the character he played in James Bond because it's this he's this guy who's been in prison for years he's been locked away for like revealing secrets and basically we, he he's you know he's revealed that he, they need this guy to to go to Alcatraz prison what was is now like this tourist site where a bunch of people have been take, taken captive by these criminals these ex ex like uh, war guys ex army guys and some some mercenaries as well and they're gonna assault the world with nuclear missiles and he must he's the only one the only guy who escaped from alcatraz prison back in the day 
and his character then is like taken on by you ha you see the character of Nicolas Cage who is this super scientist him and Sean Connery's character with a bunch of Navy SEALs must go into Alcatraz prison to get all like, neutralize all these nuclear missiles and get all the people out safely and it's just a, a really good story Sean Connery is is brilliant in this and it's it's a great partnership of Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery kind of again I discussed like Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise an unlikely relationship a really good performance on screen same with this one with Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage two guys you wouldn't really expect to work really well but I think because they're so different from each other that like different acting performances I think they work really well in this movie and really does give you a treat of cinema and for me it is a cinema classic for sure the rock the next movie on my list is heat and i would have really described this years ago as a heist movie more but more watching this over the years now uh, more recently especially it's kind of uh, best to describe this really as it's a crime story but with some great heist moments some great heist scenes uh, I, obviously nearer the end of the movie when they're doing this big heist it's got some great scenes and a great some really great chase scenes but i think for me this movie starring al pacino robert de niro val kilmer the best part of this is the is the is the characters in this movie and the, the characters are so you know they've got some really bad things going on in their lives and they really they even like the good characters like robert de niro plays a, a cop in this and and al, sorry yeah robert de niro plays the criminal and Al Pacino plays the cop, but you think the cop can the cop would be like this good spirited, good good guy, and he is, but he just feels you know his story and his life and what's going on in his personal life are really troubled. And you think De Niro's character, this villain, has actually got more like positives going on in his life. It's really weird, and it's but just in overall like the everyone in this like all the characters in this story have got bad things going on for, with them. Where it all goes into this great story of heat, where they're doing it. it's all this this gang who are robbing banks and robbing robbing everywhere they can, and it just all comes to an end an end road at the end with some great scenes between Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. Great, great character work, great acting performances. He is a cinema classic in my book. I think it is a superb, superb movie. The next movie I'm going to discuss is Kelly's Heroes. Um, basically, the story of this, it's during World War II, and basically, uh, it stars Clint Eastwood. you got uh, Telly Savales, uh, Don Rickles, uh, Carol O'Connor, and Donald Sutherland. And basically, early on in the story, Clint Eastwood's character of Kelly, he, he discovers that there's gold in this bank in Germany, and they're going to go on this secret mission to get this gold. And they go within... And within you know, enemy lines basically to do this mission, and they're sort of like doing it all under like like all like the secret mission. They're not telling the top bosses about it because they want to get all this gold. And it's just like this great heist movie where they're going into this town, this German, this town. I think it's a French town actually, where they're going to rob this bank. And it's you see them battling these tanks and stuff like this, and just a really cool story. But a great Clint Eastwood movie. Great World War II movie. I really like this movie, and it is for me definitely a cinema classic movie. Now, the next movie to go on the shelf is actually a trilogy of movies, and I mentioned this at the start of the show. There's only going to be certain ones that I feel that are worthy of a few movies in a series going into the cinema classics selection or any description of any shelf in the movie collection. This one, cinema classics, we have Back to the Future Part 1, 2, and 3. I think these are all amazing film, films. The the series st starring Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd, um, Doc and Marty going on a time traveling adventures throughout time. I think all three movies are absolutely classic movies of cinema history. And for me, I couldn't think of you know these are just they had to go on the shelf. They couldn't. I couldn't select even one. Like it couldn't have been like Back to the Future Part One. It couldn't have been Part Two or Part Three. It had to be all three and to keep them off the shelf would have been a crime so back to the future are going on to the cinema classic shelf and i'm very happy about that the next movie i'm going to discuss is catch me if you can another tom hanks movie enters the cinema classics uh, shelf and it stars leonardo dicaprio and tom hanks in this basically this is a true story 
of basically this young man who is a forger. He forges passports, identities to make money basically throughout this whole story. And you see this this life of, of, of Leonardo DiCaprio's character who's being chased down by this FBI agent played by Tom Hanks. And you see them, you know, build this relationship through the story. Such a really unique story and a really well-told story. Really uh, great acting performances in this. And it's a movie probably during, what, like 1950s or 60s, I would say. I'm, I'm not completely sure. But it's a, a really, really great story directed by Steven Spielberg as well. I think with Spielberg behind the camera, it's all, you're always in for a treat when it comes to cinema. And Catch Me If You Can is a great Tom Hanks performance. I, Tom Hanks is a... He's a highlight of cinema classics, isn't he? And Leonardo DiCaprio is, is just in the same boat. And adding, adding them two on screen together, two greats of different eras of acting, really is a, a special moment to see on screen. And I really like Catch Me If You Can. Now we're going to add a bit of humour to the shelf of cinema classics. And I think there's only a few comedies that I think would be a cinema classic. And this one is definitely... A cinema classic to me and it's Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels in Dumb and Dumber. Unreal comedy, absolutely uh, one of the best comedies of all time. It makes me laugh every time even though I know all the jokes, I know all the lines of this movie now. Just, I mean, from the toilet scene to the scene in like the, um, in, in the cafe scene where they're having like the, you know, <laughs> With the uh, where they throw the salt all over, uh, with the tongue on the ice scene. This, I mean, there's tons of different scenes in this movie where I think Dumb and Dumber is just a movie uh, where I just can't stop laughing. It's, it's a great movie. I, I love Dumb and Dumber. I, I wasn't keen on the sequel. It wasn't for me. Uh, the prequel movie as well. I, I just didn't enjoy that. But this is one I can pick out that franchise and say this on its own deserves to be on the cinema classics shelf. Next up, I put another Tom Hanks movie on the shelf, and it is Castaway, uh, another one directed by Robert Zemeckis as well. He directed Forrest Gump as well. Castaway tells the story of a man who is in a plane crash. He goes onto this desert island, spends years on this island, and you see really what is great about this is you see the the, the character work from Tom Hanks and the effort he put into this. He he put on a load of weight apparently for this and then he lost a load of the weight to look like a man who'd been on an island for years to tell this story and it's it's really great. It's a really great story and at half the movie, he's talking to a football or a volleyball called Wilson. It's like an imaginary character and he's just talking to himself and really, he doesn't really talk that much within the story for, for, for a long period of the story but then it's a story of him going back to civilization and breaking free of the island and it is a great, great story, Castaway. It, great music throughout the music. So, you know, it on key with the tone of the movie. And it is just, again, certain certain movies, I, I think, like, like The Great Escape, where you think, just like, it's just, this is cinema. This is an absolute cinema classic. You're watching it and you're thinking, wow, this is a great piece of storytelling, a great movie. And Castaway is definitely up there as one of my favourite and uh, definitely um, a cinema classic movie, definitely worthy of being on the cinema classics shelf. The next movie to go on the shelf is Ryan Gosling in Drive. This is a more modern classic, but I remember, for me, I'm a big into like synthwave soundtracks, and I, I this movie came to my attention through the soundtrack, and the soundtrack has got like various artists on it, but all like synthwave, synthesizer, music and the music is a big part of the movie but it's just a, a really stylistically great movie it's basically kind of like a heist movie this a crime movie where he ryan gosling's character who's like this unnamed driver he's a stunt driver by uh he does like stunt drive and he works in a garage but he's also like this getaway driver as well and it is really good you've got oscar isaac in here as well like one of the early performances of oscar isaac brian cranston's in there uh, some really great acting performances in this but i think you know ryan gosling in this it is just stylistically like i said it's got like that neo neon you know 80s style look of the movie uh it's just visually stunning and it's a great story i i think the music really is a big part of the movie as well i i really like drive i think it is a modern day classic movie and I think it is a cinema classic for me, and uh, it's why it's going on the shelf of cinema classic movies. 
The next movie to go on the shelf is Pulp Fiction, the Quentin Tarantino directed movie. Basically a bunch of uh, different characters, character stories all blend together and they're sort of like told in different time periods within the stories all told like like back to front it's not um basically a linear storytelling within this movie it's just, the story is just all over the place where it all comes to it all like intertwines together as well you've got some great acting performance you've got bruce willis samuel jackson john travolta in the um you know some really great acting performances in the and I, I really like this movie. I, I was kind of torn. I was always torn between this and Reservoir Dogs, which is my favourite Tarantino, but I'm going to put this one on the cinema classic shelf. I think this is the one that always hits with me. I think it's a great movie. Uh, look at the great cover here um, with Uma Thurman, another great performer in this movie, Uma Thurman, but this is such a unique cover as well. Uh, I love the story. I love all the different stories, the way they develop throughout the movie. And I, I just think it's a unique story, a unique film, and a really unique style of filmmaking that has kind of been adopted by other filmmakers since this movie. But it all started with Quentin Tarantino for me, and he is a great filmmaker, and this is a great piece of filmmaking going on the cinema classic shelf. So now we are down to the last movie to enter the shelf today on Movie Curator Shelf Club. And the last movie to enter my cinema classic shelf is Watchmen. Absolutely phenomenal movie. Watchmen, a comic book movie, an adaption of a graphic novel. Uh, I'm a big fan of the graphic novel I've read since watching this movie originally. Uh, I think it's a great movie. Basically, it's like this bunch of heroes, these vigilantes, and uh, some like weird events are going on, and some of them are getting killed off. And it's find out you know, why people are getting killed and who's the killer within the story. But it's just, it's a great setting of like the 80s and it's just, you know, some really, it's a very dark tone to this. It's not like a Marvel, a happy story or a DC. It's a very, the tone is very dark. It's R-rated, a lot of violence in here, uh, a lot of swearing, a lot of adult, uh, adult nature in this. You know, it's not for kids, this story, definitely not. But it's a great movie. I, I really enjoy it. I like the graphic novel and I think they both... You know, I think it's a great adaption of the comic book as well. This, you know, from reading the comic, I think it's really, really good. I, I really enjoy Watchmen. I think it's just a, a great comic book movie. But it's, it's also kind of like, I feel like some of the Marvels are a bit too over the top sometimes, and I feel like Watchmen is kind of feels like, even though it's over the top, it feels very grounded at the same time, certain points in this story. And that's why I like this universe and this particular cinematic, uh, I was going to say universe, but it's only one one film. But this 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 world that is built within Watchmen, I think it's really great. Some really great characters in here. And it is, you know, my final choice for the cinema classic shelf for a reason. I think it is a superb film and well worthy of being on the shelf of cinema classics. So let's just do a bit of a quick roundup on this shelf. The Cinema Classics shelf is now completed. Some great movies in that collection now behind me. Uh, I, I think for me, you know, like I said, Tom Hanks is a big part of that shelf. You know, we've got Catch Me If You Can, uh, Cast Away, Forrest Gump as the headline movie on that shelf. He's a big part of that shelf, but there's some other great ones in there. Like I said, Watchmen, uh, Rain Man, some great classics on there. And I'm, I'm really glad that I've got... A bunch of movies now, when I open that, I can see them movies and I'll, I'll look at that and I'll think straight away, you know, there's always going to be something on that particular shelf that will jump out to me and say, I want to watch it. And uh, that was the point of putting this shelf together to curating uh, this particular collection and making a shelf of cinema classics that I enjoy within my movie collection. If you enjoyed this video today, please do give it a like and check out the rest of the movie related content on the channel as well. And let me know your thoughts on this video today and the thoughts on the completed Cinema Classics shelf here on Movie Creator Shelf Club. Do you think I put the right movies on the shelf? Which movies would go on your shelf of Cinema Classics? What would be some of the, the best ones for you that would go on your Cinema Classics shelf? I'm really happy with this shelf I created today. I think it's really important as us, uh, us as movie fans, movie collectors, movie creators to to put together collections and really, you know, look at the collections sometimes and, you know, make genres, make descriptions, make certain shelves up to make it more fun, this, you know, collecting movies, watching movies. I think it becomes even more of a fun hobby 
you know, create, curating your movie collection. And uh, I'm really happy with the outcome of today's uh, today's video and today's shelf. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, ladies and gents. Remember to remember three words. I got three words for you in the Movie Creator Shelf Club. Control your collection. I'll see you next time.